Look at this shit. Check this shit out right here, man. Check it out. Check it out. This is what I made. I like this one. I like this one. First video of 2022. Check it out. Made this custom frame. 24 karat gold spray paint. Anybody wants to buy it, let me know. I was just sketching. I was just, I mean, I'm learning. You know, we out here, man. You know, I'm about to get a, I'm about to get a workout in. I'm about to get a pump in. So, you know, today we're using. Total War, usually I use a uh, Time to Bleed or Dead Game. Feel me? Put a little bit, I'm gonna just put a little bit today because yesterday I did like two scoops and. <coughs> oh shit! Shit! What the fuck up? Shit! But check it out, check it out. We out here, man. I'm about to gonna start drawing right now. I'm gonna start working on something. And it, oh shit. I forgot to finish this. Devin, if you're watching this, sorry about that, pal. I'll work on that shit later. Alright, man. Oh, well, yo, I'm gonna let you guys know, man. If anybody, any artist out there that, that wants to, you know, start lettering, drawing, and doing all that good shit, just keep doing it. If anybody wants to purchase this frame for me, let me know. I'm gonna leave my PayPal. In the description, you guys want that shit? You know, let me know. Yes, sir. But I'm out here drinking some coffee. All that stuff is like it's part of the process. I get it. You're gonna become a better businessman. Start reading books. Um, look, it's a really interesting time in this world. And look, today's September 11th. Uh, you know, how, how long ago was that, Andy? 19 years ago. 19 years ago, many people, many many people went to bed last night, and by by 10 a.m. they were deceased. Let that set in, you know, gone, you know, they were preparing for work tomorrow. Uh, people were preparing to go to work and by 10 a.m. they were out, right? Um, think about that, like through everything, all their dreams died, right? So the fact that you're alive, the fact that I'm alive, um, let's go for it, man. Let's, let's take this fucking world for what it has to offer. Like, there's no reason for you guys not to grab everything that's fallen from the sky. Like, open up your hands. Uh, it's all around us if you receive it. Um, so watch the company you keep. It's very important. Um, you got to really respect yourself and understand that no one's going to do this for you except for yourselves. Going to do this for you. You got to you got to grab this world by the balls and go for it. You know, and it starts with your mindset. Um, um, one of my mentors. I love everything about Carlos. Um, his artwork is always blow away. You guys know that. I don't have to say that. Uh, but one thing that's cool about Carlos and. Um, er, Quite a few years ago, we uh, we took him on as a as a business partner. He was part owner of Inkies, and you know, I wanted Inkies to come in with Bishop and just sort of form this this big. Why we're gonna call him is not just because he's one of my business partners, but it's because as I look at Carlos' success, he's always had a proper mindset. Over the years, I learned what a proper mindset is. I interview him together because I, I actually want to know myself. So, wh what got you there, Carlos? Like what? Why are you a positive, happy-go-lucky guy? How did that play into you owning one of the sickest tattoo studios in the world in one of the best locations? How did that play into you becoming a badass oil painter and, of course, a badass tattoo artist? Um, how did you get there, and what percentage of that was you having a mindset? And break that mindset down. Give us the recipe of what's going on in your head in terms of the context we're talking about, positive mindset. And you don't understand what it's going to take. And guys, back to what I was saying. We're not, we're not, you know, some of you guys saying, oh, I don't want to be, I don't want to run a four minute mile, blah, blah, blah. Well, let me tell you something. For you to be functional, for you to have a, a, a decent career, for you to have a decent house with a decent bank account and a decent car and a decent fucking life where you can travel and have some sort of fucking freedom, you are going to have to learn what I'm talking about. This is not just about being great. This is about being effective and functional in today's society. The competition is high, bro. It's high. Okay? When I was coming up in business and, and, and what I do, I had to read fucking books. And thankfully that habit stuck. But right now you can literally go almost anywhere and learn from directly from people who have done what it is that you want to do. 
We've never had opportunity like we've had here in this country right now. But if you look anywhere other than a place like this and a few other select places, you will hear the doom and gloom that you will never be successful here. You will hear how bad America sucks. You will hear how uh, bigoted and biased America is towards fucking everybody. One plus one is always going to equal two. Two plus two is going to equal four. In 10 years of motherfucking work, when everybody else is partying, making excuses, doing the cool thing on the weekend, it's going to pay off. It just is. And you'll never convince me otherwise. And so my talk today obviously isn't for everybody because there's people listening right now who have already bought into this shit. They've already bought into the fact that no matter what the fuck they do, they can't win. You guys gotta use YouTube as like a tool. Like these are the videos that motivate me a lot. RP Nipsey Hustle. Success vibes. You guys gotta search up Andy Priscilla and check out his videos because that should really help me out. You know, I like watching you know like other tattoo How artists sell tattoos. Just do they buy like equipment? It's pretty sick. Just be like, oh, I'm gonna start next week. Like for me, my mentality was never like that. It was just start today on somebody, like do a name, do initials, do whatever. You just went so on. I just had the like, you know, I was looking up to have people that, you know, would, would trust. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the, at the time, it was like everyone in the building, it was like, you know, all the kid over there, that's your name. It's like, okay, your name. And so I'll knock. And then, you know, like that just, just became. I never really pictured myself doing anything else after that one. Yeah. Oh, when you first started tattooing, you were yeah. like, that's what I'm going to do? Like, yeah. Just got the passion for me. Yeah. 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 And, like, your tattooing, it's more, you're more into, like, doing the lettering? Yeah. That's okay. What that's I your do the bread and butter. Yeah. That's what I, well, that's what I started with, so that's something that I kind of, like, got real good at, you know? Mm-hmm. Okay. Like a couple pop-ups um, while I've been out here. Shout out to the Smokers Club. Shout out to Astros Club. It's really cool to pop up and, like, be able to buy a butt and smoke and vibe and chill. So hopefully some of these, you know, true players get licenses out here. Yeah, because they're having dinner parties now where it's like the food is cooked with, um... With weed. Yeah, with marijuana. weed. Like, come through. We're having pizza parties and everything. Well, I'm, I'm coming to New York for sure. We're putting all our resources into bringing cookies to New York. But what we're going to do is, like, the first person I partnered with in NY was Branson. Branson, shout out to Branson. You know, like, I, I didn't want to come out here and go right to the rappers or anything like that. Shout out to all my brothers who've been asking me to do things. But Branson's been an OG for a long time. So Absolutely. that was that was the first person I wanted to do a deal with. Like, let's get them triangle bags all through the city again and have you feel comfortable about doing that. So we've been bringing him around and showing him, like, what the what the rec game looks like. And he's blown, his mind's blown from it. Well, let's let's get into it. We oh, wait, wait, last thing, bucket list. All right, because you talked about that earlier, and it's a song on the album. Mm -hmm. So what were some things on your bucket list that you had to accomplish? Well, I definitely want to take my, I definitely want to take my kid to Spain and, and out here to New York. I told my daughter we're going to start traveling soon. Yeah, she's an entrepreneur too, right? Yeah, she's an entrepreneur for sure. I'll just teach her about life. Um, I think some of the lineups on these records was bucket list. I think doing an album like God, you actually really rolled it out and put respect on it was bucket list. And mm -hmm. doing a record with Pockets bucket list. And, you know, there's Is that record on the, on the album? 
Nah, it's it's, it's happening probably for the deluxe. Okay, because yeah. I heard that you had a pop up. You're really good at just reaching out to people. Yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I got it from my mom. You got to be a good conversationalist. You That's have to be good. able to talk. Some people yeah. have too much ego to want yeah, to do that. The burner reaches out to anything that I've never met Burner's team. I always talk to Burner directly. That's yeah. a great if thing because it makes people want to do things absolutely. anymore. You have to be hands on because if you're not hands on, you'll be misrepresented. So I, when I reached out to the state, I said, well, first of all, this would be a life goal to, if we could figure it out. If it's even possible. Yeah, it's so fast. No one has run it back. Hold on, tough man. Friends, how the fuck y'all feeling? Y'all feeling good? Yeah. I just told you we have to start the show at 11. It's like 10 50. We ain't doing that, right? No! If you want me to rock on the count of three, I need you to fucking scream. This is going on my grand right when I get off stage. I love you, motherfuckers. You ready? One. Two, three. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got some news for y'all. Y'all ready for this? I promised you guys I was gonna open up a cookie store in Fresno, right? Guess what? We opened up two cookie stores in Fresno. We just won the license. Let's go to the Oh shit. You guys back up? You back up, that's good.